everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to take part in a furniture flip challenge and the challenge is to flip a piece of furniture $100 or less rules of the challenge are everything must cost $100 or less including the piece of furniture so brushes sandpaper paint Everything that we use to flip this piece of furniture should cost 100 or less. This challenge is hosted by Sabrina over at Sab's Rehabs. I'm going to put a link in the description with a playlist to all the participants. I am so excited to be part of this challenge, so let's get started. I decided to flip this dresser for this challenge. This is part of a three-piece set in my son's nursery. It came with this dresser, a lower dresser with six drawers. We're using that in another room right now. The crib we gave away years ago. He's now 10 years old and I also will be moving him into another room. I'm gonna flip this dresser. I'm also gonna do something with that bed. I don't know what yet, but that's a separate video. I remember years ago when I picked out this furniture, I liked the clean lines and I still do. If this were a solid wood piece, I would definitely be showcasing the natural grain of the wood, but it isn't. Since we're redoing this dresser on a budget, I'm using paint from the mist in section at Lowe's and doing a simple but worn out linen finish. For 10 years of everyday use, this dresser is in pretty good shape. A couple minor scratches, but no major repairs needed. And how cute are his little signs? Just in case you're wondering what stuff means to a 10 year old. <gasps> Holy moly! Anyway, I'm gonna get started by taking everything out. I'll be using a 50-50 mix of vinegar and water and giving it a good scrub. I always saved my used dish sponges and old shirts to use for cleaning my furniture. I had my husband try to take the drawers out and usually we look for a little lever that releases it, but we couldn't find any. In fact, he resolved I would have to refinish this dresser with the drawers in. And guys, I was so bummed. I usually stay up late at night either editing, doing research and planning for the next day. And I couldn't get the thought out of my head of having to redo this dresser with the drawers in. And after watching every YouTube video I could find, I looked over this particular footage of him trying to take it out. And then it hit me. There are three screws on either side. That's it. The next morning, it was the first thing I did. I removed the screws and voila, I got the drawers out. Lesson in this. Sometimes the answer is staring you right in the face, but because we're programmed to see and do things a particular way, we don't see the obvious. Next, I removed the hardware and took everything outside to my work area so I can scuff sand everything and get it ready for a primer.
Every time I go to Lowe's or Home Depot, I check out the Oops paint section. Oops, I knocked that paint sign down. No pun intended. Sample paint are usually $1.25 at Lowe's and $0.50 cents at Home Depot. But you can also save a bunch on stains and regular paint. I picked up this Zinsser 123 primer some time ago for only $2.50. And although I already used this on another project, there's still enough left to do two coats on this entire dresser. Using my sample paint, I'm mixing two light colors together into an old paint can. This is going to be my base color. I recommend using a satin or semi-gloss paint for this base color. That glossy finish really helps the bristle glide easier to create the look, which you'll see in a moment. Paint samples are really intended to help with color selection and don't have the same body as real paint. But they work just fine on smaller projects like these that are going to be used indoors. And with good prep like sanding and using a bonding primer, you're golden. I'm also adding some Minwax Polycrylic to the mix before giving it a good shake. You can apply this with a chip brush that you can pick up at the dollar store. I'm using a foam roller to speed things up, but it isn't necessary. Since I am going for that worn textured look, actual texture in the application makes it look a lot more authentic. You don't want to fuss too much about making this layer smooth. Brush marks actually enhances the way it turns out in my opinion. Now for the second layer. I'm using this dark tan color and mixing it 50-50 with clear glaze. The glaze helps to prolong the drying time, giving you a little more time to work with it until you get it the way you like it. You also want to make sure you take off any fans around. You don't want this drying really fast on you. To create this linen look, you are essentially lifting off the glaze in a crisscross pattern. Apply the paint on the entire section that you're working on as quickly as you can. I'm using this straw broom I picked up at Home Depot. You can use anything stiff enough to create those lines. Keep an old t-shirt or cloth on hand to wipe off the broom or brush after each pass. Then do the same thing in the opposite direction. The bristles on this are inconsistent, some are wider than others, so I'm getting a very ununiformed look, which is what I'm going for. If you want a more consistent pattern, use a nylon brush and pay attention to keeping those lines or the pass as straight as possible. As I mentioned earlier, using a base paint with some type of sheen helps the bristles glide much easier. The glaze is pretty much sitting on the top until it's dried.
I painted the frames in the plain tan color and did two coats of Minwax Polyacrylic on everything. And to be completely honest, I actually refinished the hardware, but when my son initially saw the dresser taken apart, the first thing he said was, where are my signs? And after giving it some thought, those signs really do help him to find things faster. And that actually means I can get him out the door on time for school. So I decided to replace them with these label pulls I got on Amazon. They were $21 for 20 pieces and I only needed 10. Then I made some labels using regular print paper. Well guys, you made it all the way through the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and consider giving this a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified of new uploads. And a big thank you to Sabrina over at Sabs Rehabs for hosting this challenge. Sabrina has been such an inspiration to me and so many others. I've also included a link to her channel in the description along with a playlist of all the participants in this $100 challenge guys set aside some time pour yourself your favorite beverage and binge watch all these videos you'll be amazed at all the ways you can flip furniture on a small budget and just before i show you all how this dresser turned out let's do a quick review on what it cost since i already had this dresser it didn't cost me anything using mist tinted paint i saved a bunch on primer and paint and i only use half the container of top coat and glaze brushes and cleaning supplies all from the dollar store i picked up that broom at home depot for four dollars and those drawer pulls were from amazon this project all in cost me 45 dollars challenge completed here's the old dresser and here it is now there is only one of you only one of me there's a million of those who won't let us be but they're not gonna not gonna see me bleed because baby i got you 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 i've been beaten to the ground dragged across the dirt i've been scared to live because some people never learn but they're not gonna not gonna watch me burn because baby i got you 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 I will tell them what I'm feeling